Hello everyone and welcome to another video in this channel. Today we're going to be taking a quick overview on how to set up a glass material inside of Marmoset, which we will eventually be doing inside of Unreal for our lighthouse scene. This is one of the things that people have been asking me about on how, how can we texture glass? Like how can we make an object that we can actually see through but that reacts to light? Because a lot of people would normally use just like a mask or something. And as you can see right here, this surface is actually reacting to light. Like we can see the reflection of our light right there and if we move it around we can see that the the glass has a little bit of uh, roughness so that we can actually see through it and of course we have the dirt and everything so this is a model that i did inside of maya very very simple model just a box a plane and a couple of boxes there for all of the lines of the wood right there we're going to jump into substance painter because here's where we do the first initial setup and uh, this is probably the most important part of the of the whole process because if you don't do this properly then the object is not going to work so as you can see here like we we import our object we do our bakes and we generate the textures that we want as you can see here i am using a smart material to just get some quick wood effects in order for us to properly visualize the opacity map and the and the like transparency here inside of substance we need to do two things first you're going to go to the shader settings and you're going to change your shader from the basic pbr metallic roughness to this one right here that's called pbr metallic rough with alpha blending this is very important because if we do not select the shader right here we're not going to be gaining access to the opacity channel which is where the magic is going to happen once we do that what we're going to do right here is we're going to create a new layer let me delete this one right here uh, we're going to create a new layer a new fill layer and we need to go to texture set settings and make sure that on the channels we have opacity selected if we don't have opacity don't worry just click on channels and it's going to be right here and you're going to be adding the opacity channel to it so when we create a fill layer as you can see right here the new fill layer that we create is going to have access to color metal height normal roughness and opacity i'm going to turn everything off and i'm just going to keep opacity on and if I bring the opacity down, as you can see right here, I'm going to be masking out the windows out of existence. Like I'm pretty much telling it, hey, you do not exist. You're not part of the of the whole like uh, of, of my like element right here. Now, we don't want to do that. And the reason only the glass disappeared is because we're inside of this layer. If this was on the very top, as you can see right here, we can decide what things appear and what things disappear. So I'm going to make everything disappear and I'm going to add a black mask right here so that we can only select this one. And what we can do is on this one, I can assign a mask, select that object right there. And as you can see now, only my window is transparent, like perfectly transparent. Even if I go here to the eye ray and I try to render, which remember, this is a, like a traditional render. This is going to look like transparent, but not because we, we are doing transparency or glass. This is looking like this because we have nothing, right? We're, we're telling the whole thing to disappear. We don't want that. So the first thing is we're actually going to bring the opacity at least a little bit up, okay? So it can be really, really low, like 0 0.01, but it needs to be at least as there okay i like to bring it a little bit more up so that i can actually see like the scratches and everything but it needs to be right there i'm gonna bring this under here so that we get the, the dirt and everything this is a very basic dirt layer and now if i go to my uh, viewer as you can see right here this is actually reacting to the light you can see how there's like little bits of light like hitting different parts of my window so this looks like an actual glass glass window okay so that's the that's the very basic setup again that we need to do here inside of um inside of Substance Painter. One more thing that we need to do is we need to go to the very first layer, at least at the lowest possible layer. And with a fill layer, I'm adding an opacity layer to everything else. Because if we don't do this, as you can see, everything else is gonna be like uh, opa opaque as well. So we just wanna have a very basic layer. This is gonna be like my main, oh, let's call this like main opacity. And by having this made opacity set to white, every single object is going to be opaque unless, like what we're doing here with the glass, we select that specific object and we make it really, really, um, like, like we, we make it non-existent right here. So I'm going to export this file, export textures. We're going to export them on, on our traditional places. I'm using the Unreal Engine 4 setup, very important right here. And uh, we're going to bring this into Marmoset. Now, if you guys have never used Marmoset before, let me tell you that we have a complete guide to Marmoset 4 and it's available in Skillshare. Hey guys, Abraham here. I just want to remind you guys that we upload all of our courses to Skillshare. Skillshare is this amazing site where you can access a ton of different content to learn, improve and grow as an artist. We have all of our courses available to watch and learn from right now in Skillshare. You can check the description down here and Skillshare is offering one free month trial to their premium membership. With this membership, you're going to be able to access all of our courses and watch and learn all of the amazing things that we cover with all of the softwares. So what are you waiting for? Check Skillshare down here below. 
There we go. So I'm gonna just like set up the whole material again so that everyone can follow. We're gonna create a new material here. And this is something that's very, very important. If you're gonna take something from this video, apart from all of the opacity things, it's this. For you to have an image that looks really good, you need three elements. Good textures, which we've already covered in Substance Painter, good shaders, which we're gonna do right now, and good light setup or a good render. So if you combine those three things, good textures, good shaders, and a good light setup, you're gonna get a really nice image. Some people think that it's all on the textures or it's all on the render. It's it's the three things. It's a balance of the three things. So glass is one of those things that is very shader dependent. So it's gonna be slightly different how we calibrate it here than how we calibrate it in Unreal, than how we calibrate it in Maya. So depending on which software we're using, we're gonna be taking a look at the slightly different effects. If you guys want me to show you how we can do this instead of Maya, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll do a video for you as well. So here on the, on the element, let's uh, go to my image folders here real quick, Windows, there we go. So as you can see, we have our three maps. The first one, super easy, just base color, we get this right there. And if we assign this to our window, there we go. We got a base color, it's looking nice. We got the scratches and everything on the glass, but we're not getting like exactly what we want from the transparency side of things. Up here, we can also plug in the normal map. It's inverted because this is for Unreal, so we're just gonna flip it. And as you can see, again, we got a very, very nice effect, but it's not there yet. This next one, the Occlusion Roughness Metallic, some of you guys already know how it works. I'm gonna go down here to Occlusion, and the first channel of the Occlusion Roughness Metallic is gonna go right here. It's gonna darken, as you can see, it's gonna create a little bit of a darker effect on the corners of the object. Really, really cool to, to punch the contrast a little bit more. And this map, this uh, Roughness Occlusion or, or Occlusion Roughness Metallic, it contains all of the other information as well, such as the roughness. So I'm gonna grab this one and here on the microsurface, I'm gonna drop it and this is gonna be the green channel. So we're gonna be extracting the information from the green channel. As you can see now, the wood actually looks like wood because it looks way more dry and we're getting a, a nice effect. Here's where things are gonna start getting a little bit tricky. We need to add the transparency to this thing so that we can see to the other side. And I actually, I'm gonna change the sky Let's go for something that's a little bit more like uh, like our scene. I really like the like the, this beach rocky. Yeah, let's go beach rocky. So I'm just gonna download this one right here. There we go, and that's it. So we're in this beach, which is very close to what we would expect from our um, from our like lighthouse scene. I'm gonna click on the little sun here to add a, a nice light right there, which is gonna be a nice yellow light. And if I rotate this, as you can see right there, the light's gonna be like reacting with all of the different surfaces. So here's where people get it a little bit wrong with glass. A lot of people think that just by adding down here in the transparency, a dether transparency, we're gonna get glass. And it kind of looks like glass, as you can see right here, but this is not actually glass. This is actually just opacity. We're using a mask, and the mask that we have right here is modifying things in a slightly different way so that we can get uh, a, an effect that looks like glass. This is like a cheap way to do glass because we're we're kind of like implying that there's glass there when there's actually not because it's just like the cutout of the textures and the dust and all that stuff. So to actually make this glass, um, we're gonna go up here to the transmission section and we need to turn on this refraction option. So by doing this, we're gonna get this. It looks really, really weird. And the reason why it looks very weird is because it's actually doing the refraction for the whole thing. And we don't wanna do that. So there's one more thing that we need to do. We need to go here to the reflectivity. And instead of using metalness reflectivity, we're gonna change this to refractive index. And by doing this, we're gonna be able to invert the metalness. And as you can see, this is now behaving like glass, okay? So this is what we're actually gonna be getting. You can see when I move the light around, the light is gonna be reacting to all of the surface of the glass. So this is actually, again, reacting the way we would expect glass to work. And I'm gonna show you a very, very like important example of, of why this is like actually working the way it's supposed to do. I'm gonna go here to Maya and I'm gonna create a cube. I'm gonna get this cube right here on the, on the border of the object, right, right there. And then this face, I'm gonna extrude. I'm gonna offset so that we can create pretty much like that, like the frame. Imagine this is like a like a wall that we're creating. And I'm gonna delete that face. So right now, this right here should be this cube. I'm gonna control E to give this thickness, the cube thickness. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of thickness. There we go. And we're gonna say file, export selection, and let's export this as a room. So if we go to Marmoset and we bring this room in, as you can see, look at that. The window is actually refracting light and moving it all the way to the back of the element right there, okay? So we can actually see through this thing and see the inside and the outside of the elements, okay? 
Now, what else can we do with this? Well, if the runness is a little bit too much, we can modify it. Right now, we're modifying everything, not just the class. There are a couple of things that you can change here on the transmission, but one of the most powerful things is when we go to render, we can actually use ray tracing. And if we use ray tracing, as you can see right here, the inside of the room is going to be black, except for the part where the light is going. Why is this? Because with ray tracing, as you can see right here, light is calculating that there's like literally no light going here into the scene and we're only getting light into this room thanks to this window right here and the thing that you're seeing right here this live live um light what's the word like live uh, modification live reaction uh, like ray tracing this is the exact same thing that we can get inside of unreal now with lumen so the glass when we calibrate this inside of uh, unreal we're going to be able to get this glass to work very very nicely uh there seems to be a light right here i'm going to eliminate that light i'm not sure where that was coming from that one right there, okay? There we go. And again, if I were to go inside here, for instance, and create a little point light, you can see that the light's gonna be coming from the inside. It's gonna be refracting against the window. We can go again to that light. Let's increase the brightness. And you can see how, how the light's gonna be left out of the room. If I if I move this thing and create another room right here, you can see the how the glass is not just transparency and it's actually refracting light or it will refract light and create something that looks very, very cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the simple way to do glass for games. Is uh, in this case, it's it's very shader dependent. But the the important thing about texturing is over here on the texturing side of things, opacity maps are the ones that we're going to be using. This is again one simple technique to do it. There's way more advanced technique where you play really really heavily with the shaders and you export other maps to generate like way way more realistic effects. But for games that are like not whose focus is not the glass and you want to focus on other things and what we're gonna be doing for a lighthouse this is a really good solution so yeah hope you guys like the uh the result and uh, that's it that's pretty much uh it for now we're very very close to 38,000 subscriber guys so if you want to help the channel so if you want the if you like the information uh make sure to hit the little bell icon to subscribe to like and we also have our discord channel available on the comments down here so that's it for now my for now my friends i'll see you back on the next one Bye bye